Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Batman 132. This is uh, the next issue of Batman. Uh, we have two stories in this one. The main story, The Batman of Gotham Part 2, written by Chip Zdarsky with a pencil by Mike Hawthorne, inks by Adriano Benedetti, uh, colors by Tom Moreau, and letters by Clayton Cowles with a beautiful cover by Jorge Jimenez. Uh, in this story, the mean streets of Gotham City have gotten meaner. As the likes of Harvey Dent and Killer Croc roam free, brutalizing the population. But when it when where is Batman and why hasn't he responded to the cries of the city in peril? Can Bruce find the answers before the mysterious red mask captures him? Uh, so yeah, we continue to be in this other world, this alternate dimension, which having a different artist really makes a lot of sense in this case. Not only do you get to have you know, Jorge Jimenez take a break for an arc, uh, but it also looks different. It feels different, like the whole the whole uh, aesthetic and and feel uh, and tone of the book is different. The the, the Gotham. Uh, so let's take a look at some preview art. We'll pull up uh, and we'll talk some more about this issue. Uh, so we continue to follow Bruce as he goes down this uh, this path, just trying to figure out what's going on in this Gotham. Why why are things so different? Why is it the fact that Bruce Wayne not being in this world, in this Gotham, changed the thing so much? Uh, and like I mentioned, I like Mike Hawthorne and Benedetto and Maurice Colors. Um, and, you know, because the the city looks and feels so different. Uh, the inks are a little heavier uh, than, than what Jimenez would do. Uh, and just the whole aesthetic... Uh, even the chaos that is represented in the art. Uh, but we do get some other scenes as we move forward here. Uh, we get to see some familiar faces, uh, but maybe in a little bit of a different context. We see Alfred, we see Leslie, uh, Dr. Leslie Tompkins, uh, and we get to know a little bit more about Red, Red Mask, who he is, and how he controls Gotham. Uh, also, this figure uh, of uh, a skeletal Jim Gordon. Uh, there's a lot happening here. I get a lot. I'm really enjoying this story because it gives me a little bit of um, uh, almost Judge Dredd type of vibes. Like just the whole, it's almost as if Bruce is the only one, like he like if he's been thrown into Mega City 1. It's a little weird, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I, I think it's a really interesting idea to take Bruce out of his complete element, uh, putting him somewhere where he doesn't truly belong. Uh, and as well, in the backup story, we have the Toy Box Part 2, uh, also written by Sadarsky with art by Miguel Mendoca, uh, uh, colors by Roman Stevens. And um, in this backup story, Tim Drake continues to hunt for Batman. Will Metropolis' newest Superman, John Kent, be able to help the boy wonder with this mu multiversal mystery, or will they both run afoul of an overpowered Toyman? So once again, there's uh, a little bit of hints uh, if you're a fan of Justice League Animated, you can kind of maybe figure out. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly what's going on, but it's something very similar to to an episode of that. I'll leave you. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide, and we can talk about it once the arc is finished. But yeah, um, Sadarsky, Sadarsky, and the team are just doing fun things uh, with this uh, story. It's not as fast paced as uh, Failsafe. This one has a lot. Like I said, the tone's very different. The pace is very different. This is a lot more of a slow burn, I feel. Whereas Failsafe was just like, go, go, fight, fight. Uh, which, once again, the artist change makes sense. The the tone makes the change uh, makes sense. So quite, quite uh, enjoyable, this. Um, you also notice that the covers look a little bit different. They've added like a, a rating. The rating looks a little bit different in some of the covers, which is interesting. I've been reading comics for a long time, and I don't know why DC would make this change now. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see where all that stuff lands. Uh, there'll be some variant covers at the end of the video. Uh, in the meanwhile, let me know what you thought of this issue if you read it. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.